Hey y'all, it's Mikey and Rachel, and we are Americans transplanted to Germany. And we are doing the homesteading DIY thing here in Germany. And Rachel was recently away at school for like three weeks, almost four. And I cooked up a surprise for her. So that's what we're getting into today. So that was expensive folks. You can see in the behind me some uh, building supplies. They were not cheap. So yeah. A little pricey. But I'm unsupervised, so who cares, right? Nah, but for real. They have a sale coming up at this building supply store, 20% off for anybody who has a, you know, their membership card thing. And I got a membership card. Problem is it's next weekend. And I think next weekend is cutting it too close to try to make sure that I get this built and um, get it done. So I do not have a choice in like waiting and saving 20%. 20% is a lot. So, I will buy other stuff, don't get me wrong, but this project can't wait. So I had to buy what I bought. Um, I was gonna buy extra and buy some other stuff. Uh, that was my plans when I left the house. Not now. Next weekend, we're gonna load up on some stuff. I have a lot of projects that need to get done. And a lot of it's about accessibility across the homestead. Uh, getting uh, from one barn to the other. I have holes cut, but no stairs, stuff like that. Uh, so I will look at getting the building materials to do that then because hey, 20% is 20%, right? And you know, you gotta save everywhere you can because everything these days is super expensive. Um, what I have in the truck cost me a lot. I spent about 200 and I didn't get much. Yep, that's the way it is. But we're headed on back to the homestead and we'll get this unloaded and we got some demolition to do. I don't know if it's gonna happen today because I don't know if you can tell we're getting mixed a mixed bag of weather uh, it is sometimes this mist not quite rain and other times the Sun actually comes out but yeah we'll see maybe we'll get to some destruction so we'll be back so to break down this project um, Rachel's always been wanting like a porch type swing so I decided all right that's gonna be one of her surprises right so this project uh, is going to require a couple of things, which uh, I headed over to, of course, Amazon. And I got the brackets to um, make the supporting structure out of the wood that you saw in the back of the truck earlier. Then I also bought these bolts that go through and have swivels on them to hang the swing from. And then um, I went on Amazon again. And I found a bench that was wide enough and strong enough and, and, you know, for the two of us to sit and, you know, enjoy the, the beautiful landscape here, you know, a place to sit, drink the coffee in the evening and, and stuff like that. So I had to get all these pieces together. So um, we're waiting on Amazon to deliver. So come on, Amazon. I got the wood. I just need the brackets, the hangers and the bench to show up so I can get this thing together. All right, so you can see behind me, the bench showed up for the swing. So we went the other day, and we got all of the, the wood to put in the brackets. And 
According to Amazon, the brackets are supposed to be here like any minute. The good thing is we pulled a bunch of rain. And I can build this in the workshop and get it 80% uh, done. Uh, the only thing I'll have to do is figure out like the height so that the swing is sitting in the right place. Um, and that really, I mean, I guess I can do it in the workshop and then move it out there. Um, but yeah, we can, we can do that while it's raining. And we got the other surprise going on. On the other side, it's going to be near where the bench goes. And that is seriously on hold. Yeah, Mother Nature. It's just the way it is, right? We get near crunch time. I got a week and a day, something like that. Or a week and two days. I don't know. Nine days, I think it is. Uh, here or there to make all this gel. So that when I pick her up from the airport and I bring her home, it's all ready. And it's a big surprise. So, yeah, we'll try. All right, y'all. So, back to working on this bench. And so, here it is in a box. We're going to cut it open. And we are going to figure out what we got to do to get the bench together. And then the bracket showed up, all that. And we'll get it figured out. So let's do it. All right, so we're in the carport because we've been getting off and on rain. So it's a little cramped quarters. We got to get this open and see what's up. Well, it looks like it's packaged nice. So, let's keep unpacking it. So far, I'm impressed. The, the uh, finish on the wood is really nice. Uh, kind of a satin. But, yeah. So far, so good. All right, so we pulled the tractor out, and I'm going to go ahead and assemble this thing, I guess. Let's do it.
So I'll tell you what, sharp little bench, really. Um, very nice finish. It seems like it's going to be crazy sturdy. And yeah, so we got the brackets and we got the wood is behind me. So I'm going to temp throw up the brackets so that we can start trying to figure out height and all that stuff. So, so let me show you these brackets. So here's the brackets and these, um, because we are in Europe, these are set up for um, 90 by 90. They're supposed to be 90.2 millimeters. So there's going to be a little bit of wiggle until I cinch them down with the with the screws. So we'll get this stabbed together and yeah, figure it out. All right, y'all. So in order to hang the swing, I bought these off of Amazon. They're actually made for hanging swings and going all the way through these this wood. I'm probably going to go with a bigger washer in the end, but for right now, just to test and figure out the right height and everything, we're just going to zing them through there. So I have drilled two 10 millimeter holes, one there, one there. So now we'll slip these up through the bottom, throw the nuts on them, and yeah, we'll see how it works out. So, it's together. Well, it's temporarily together. Thankfully, big emphasis on the word temporary. <laughs> because that's kind of low. Let me move this tractor out of the way and so we can actually get a good look at it. Because this is crazy. All right. So, I got the tractor out of the way. Let me show you. Yeah, it's a little low. So those are two meter on the, the, the angled pieces here. They're two meters long. So there's a regular picnic chair next to it. So I'm assuming this is my guess is two meter 50 is going to be the magic, uh, the magic piece of wood to put in there, which means tomorrow I got to go pick up four, either two meter 50 or three meter and cut them down so that this is high enough but I like it though I mean other than it being this far off the ground I like the way it looks I think she's gonna like it I didn't expect the the wood to be so massive and what I mean is the spread from on the bottom here is big like really big but that's okay because you know, I have plenty of room over there, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do some bracketing and bracing. And I will work that out. But, wow, yeah. So we'll pick back up on it when I get the other wood. All right, so I surprised her. She got home uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? yesterday. Day before yesterday. And she is loving her swing. Yep. Um, we opted. So the last clip, I was talking about how I was going to go ahead and make these two and a half meters and raise it all up. And I was worried it was going to make the like display on the feet like really big and really massive. 
So the solution was to remove the ropes and go with chain so that we can shorten it up just that little bit so that um, it, it worked out, right? So, it, so it's the right height. So as you can see, she's loving her bench. It all worked out. I got pretty much everything done that I needed to get done. Um, you know, there's some finishing touches that need to be done on the swing. Uh, some bracing and stuff like that to make it 100% like so it doesn't move and stuff like that. But, hey, we got that done. So, we're going to wrap this one up. And there's a whole lot more to come because there was a whole lot more that went down while she was gone. So, that's going to be coming out as well. But, you know my motto. If you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, give them the what's up or the WhatsApp. You know you'd love to hear from them too. And, until the next adventure... Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.